So this specific YouTube video is to warn you about the dangers of take, trying to take off leg bands yourself. Um, it's really difficult. You know, if you take a wire cutter or a pliers and you apply forces, it's very, very easy to break the leg or break the bones. Um, obviously, it depends on the leg bands, but the bigger the bird, the bigger the leg band. And usually macaws, an African grey like this, they have stainless steel leg bands that are not made to be removed. And uh, if you take a wire cutter, which is, which is the only thing you can use, or um, a pliers, you're going to apply such forces that you'll be breaking the leg. This little guy's ankle was broken in pieces. The, the, the ankle bones, the ligaments, the joints, to such a degree that we had to amputate the leg. We, um, we take off leg bands the whole time, and leg band injuries are really common. So why do people use leg bands? So leg bands are there to identify birds and in an Avery situation it might be a reasonable thing to do. But for the pet bird at home the leg bands seem to get caught the whole time. They get caught in things, they get tight around the leg and uh, it's one of the things we see on a monthly basis we see animals with problems with leg bands. And it's pretty sad that that little guy had to end up having um, amputation of his leg specifically because the leg, was too, the leg band had been, um, tr the owners tried to remove it at home. So I advise you do not remove the leg band at home. What we do in this clinic is we take a very fine diamond burr. The same stuff they actually use to cut teeth. For a leg band like this one, which would have been stainless steel, we'd probably even use more than one of the burrs. And we just gently cut through it in two places. There's literally classical music going, going on in the background. There's zero stress for the vet or for the pet. And it just comes off but it is a light anesthetic and you're looking at a 70 dollar procedure fee a hundred dollar anesthetic fee so for 250 dollars usually an anesthetic the leg the leg band is removed what are the alternatives to leg bands so the alternatives are a microchip a microchip is placed into the muscle it's a permanent identification pretty much the same as we have in dogs cats it's going in all kinds of species and we do it in birds the whole time we probably do three or four microchips a, a week in this clinic that we insert into birds. So just be aware of the alternatives. So this little guy's lucky, he's got really nice owners, but um, they've had a primary surgery, which has been to amputate the leg. And the question's gonna be, if he keeps on walking on this leg, we may have to amputate higher up, but that's a small chance. So guys, do not take leg bands off yourself. And what we actually encouraging, we're trying to be proactive. If, you, if you've got a pet band with a leg band on, We'll actually choose to take it off as an elective procedure and do a microchip at the same time. And that's what we're really encouraging because it's invariable during the life. The, uh, for a pet getting to a geriatric age, the chance of a leg band problem is too high to not do it.